Hi everyone, this is going to be one of my more informal videos. On the second Wednesday of each month, I will be doing a update about my life and my writing progress, and I'll be sharing things about my novels. And today I happen to have a special surprise announcement as well, so stay tuned at the end of this video. I will be sharing that. I am going to break this video up into four parts. The first part will be my non-reader writer life update, the second part will be my writing update, the third part will be information about my novels, and the fourth part will be the surprise special announcement. So not much has happened in the past month, I've just been enjoying my semester off and hanging out at home working on writing and reading, just living the dream at the moment, and it's really nice just getting to read and write all day. And I got my diploma on my birthday, which was super exciting, and I am really happy. It says summa cum laude on it. I had one goal for college academically, and that was to graduate summa cum laude. So I'm super happy that I managed to accomplish that goal, especially because I had some really rough semesters. I'm glad they did not kill my GPA and that I was able to graduate with honors like I wanted to. I've been getting a lot done in terms of reading and writing, like I said at the beginning of this video. I have accomplished so much. I finished reading The Count of Monte Cristo, finally. I've been rereading that and it took me a month to get through it. The first time I read it, it only took a week, but I did read five other books after I started it, so that did not help. But I finally finished it. I still love it. It's still my favorite book. And then the day I finished it was the day that Netflix dropped some of their Shadow and Bone promotional images. And I was so excited. I ran to the library and got Six of Crows because I haven't read that yet. And I'm 250 pages into Six of Crows so far. I don't really have an opinion on it yet. I'm still figuring out how I feel about this book, but I will share about Six of Crows eventually on this channel when I finish it. I also checked out Crooked Kingdom. If I like Six of Crows enough, I will read Crooked Kingdom as well and share that one on the channel. Yeah, so that's what I've been reading. In terms of writing, I've been working on my blogs, so if they're behind the storyteller, which is all of my book-related content, like right now I've been doing Lord of the Rings. I wrote eight posts for that, and I edited all eight of them. And then for Welcome to Karina, which is my original short stories, I wrote two, and then I edited eight that I wrote a while ago. The two that I wrote are not edited yet. And I've been very distracted because I made a decision on January 9th to start rewriting the sequel to my novel, which was not on my agenda for this time period, but the characters have been talking to me for almost a year now, and I just couldn't hold them in any longer. So I started writing on January 9th, and since then I've written 166 pages handwritten, which is about 22,000 words according to my estimates. I don't know how accurate that is. I'm just going off of my page count on previous novels I've handwritten and how many words that ended up being once I transcribed it. So I think 22,000 words. I'm super happy with my progress on that. I was not expecting to get that far in a month. I'm filming this on February 4th for reference. It won't go up till next week. But the past month I have done a lot of writing and then I've also been working on my YouTube channel of course I filmed eight videos voice recorded six stories and then I edited uploaded and did subtitles for all 14 of those I bought a new camera and I'm super happy with the photo quality on this camera but I'm not a huge fan of the mic the audio is not the best and I swear it's even better at picking up all the background noise, which is unfortunate because I live on a really busy street that's literally never quiet. It can be 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning and there are still people revving their engines as they fly down this road. 
so it's literally never quiet and I really apologize for all the background noise. I also live right across the street from the hospital which is probably why there's so much road traffic even in the middle of the night because people are going to the hospital and it's really fun when the helicopter shows up or ambulances blare their sirens because that makes a lot of noise. I edit those out and refilm that because it's a little more obnoxious than normal road noise. I'm really really hoping once I move that I will be able to find a quieter time to film so bear with me hopefully once I move things will be quieter. I, I really hope that I'll be in a quieter spot so that you don't have all this background noise when you're watching my videos. And that's everything I accomplished. The only thing on my agenda I haven't gotten around to in the past month is editing my first book, which is what I was supposed to be doing instead of rewriting my sequel, but I don't want to waste my time this semester, so if I'm not in the mood to edit but I'm in the mood to write, I'm going to write. There's nothing forcing me to edit my first book right now. That just happens to be what I wanted to accomplish so I don't have a deadline or anything so I'm just gonna do what I feel like doing and get work done and hopefully at some point I'll be in the mood to edit and make some progress on that so since I've been talking about my books a lot I thought I would share more information about them so you know a little bit more about them so each month I'll be answering five questions about my books and this month we'll just start with the very basics so the first one is, what are my book's titles? I don't actually want to share my titles because one, I don't know if they are going to be the final titles, and two, if they are the final titles, I don't want anyone to steal them because I am really rather fond of them. So I want to make sure they stay mine. But I will tell you the abbreviations, that way I can stop calling them my first novel and my second novel. So the first one, the abbreviation is A-D-R, and the second one, the abbreviation is A-W-S, and that's what I'll be referring to them as from now on. So A-D-R and A-W-S. Second question is what genre are they in, and they are both YA fantasy novels. Third question, are they standalones are, or part of a series? They are both part of a series. The series abbreviation is TVC, and ADR is the first one, and AWS is the second one, the sequel. I'm planning on having four books. I've never actually written books three and four, but I hope to remedy that soon. I think you'll be getting an update in March about what I'm going to do with those, so stay tuned. Next question, what verb tense are they in? Right now they're in present tense. My brain is just hardwired for present tense because that's what I've always written my novels in. And so when I try to write in past tense, I tend to accidentally slip back into present tense. So for consistency's sake, I write everything in present tense. I have had critique partners suggest that I switch it to past tense, which I don't know if I want to do. I chose present tense for a reason other than that I'm hardwired for it. Um, so it's something I need to consider and might end up changing, but right now it's in present tense. Then the last question is what point of view do I use and how many point of view characters are there? And I have three point of view characters. Two of them are in ADR and then I add a third in AWS. It was actually only supposed to be two in AWS and then one of the characters decided they needed to be a point of view character. So now I have three. That was not the original plan, but oh well, I guess we're gonna do that and see what happens. And they are all in first person right now. I'm debating about changing two of them to third person for clarity but one of them I definitely want to keep in first person, and that's my my protagonist. The other two, maybe, maybe not. I'm still thinking on it. But right now, they're all in first person. 
So that sums up my five questions. If you want to know more about my books, check back in a month and I will have five more questions that I will answer about my books. So now I'm going to move on to the surprise special announcement. How many of you just fast forwarded through this video until you found this? Be honest, I know you did. So my surprise special announcement has to do with some content that I will be adding to my blog, YouTube channel, and Instagram account. And I'm hoping to launch it March 1st, hopefully that will go as planned. I have not done a whole lot with it yet, but I should be moving on to that in the next week, I hope, to get some of that ready for you guys. But I want to introduce you to Camp Right Owl. And I am going to, like I said, hopefully launch that on March 1st. And it's going to be a writing and storytelling virtual camp that I will do on those three platforms. And each day of the month, I will post an instructional video or blog post or Instagram post, depending on which platform you're going to use. So we'll just say YouTube because you're watching this video. So I'm going to post an instructional video every day, except for Saturdays. I'm going to do Q&A videos. Instead, I haven't quite figured out how I want to do the Q&As yet, but at the end of every week, I want to do a Q&A so that you can ask me questions about the content I've covered during that week. And my first one that I'm going to do is Storytelling 101, and that's the one I'm going to do in March. So that will be covering storytelling basics. So some of the topics will be brainstorming, character profiles, world building, outlining, things like that. So if you are interested, you can check that out in March. And then I want to do a second one in June. And that one's gonna be Grammar 101, where I will cover grammatical and technical things and formatting. And I hope to do that one in June. And then in future years, I hope to go more in depth with specific topics. So say I take world building and do world building 200, where I spend a week just going in depth on how to world build. And I hope to do those in future years. So we'll see how these first two go. I'm super, super excited to be launching Camp Right Owl. So I hope to see you all on March 1st for Storytelling 101. So this is my update for this month. I am super happy with my productivity and I am so happy to be announcing Camp Right Owl. I hope you all have an excellent day. Bye.